three acres in KRCE area. For those familiar with the area, this one is in Siskiyou County in Northern California. I have the property pulled up here. This one is new on the website. We just posted it yesterday. So my name is Liz. I work with Wilco Land. We're a land investment company wherein we buy lands, site and scene. We invest in properties and we bring them out to the online public marketplace and we sell them. We offer owner financing on most of our properties and we also offer discounted cash prices. Again, this is a three acre lot in Montague, California. In a while, I'm going to pull up um, a bird's eye view and teach you a little bit about how you can do your own due diligence using the self-service model that we kind of provide on our website. And I'm also going to answer some common questions about this property. Okay, so um, one common question that a lot of you ask is how to visit the property. Like what I said a while ago, our business is set up to, you know, do real estate transactions online. We're not local, we're based in South Dakota, so we cannot um, show you the property. And to anyone who wants to visit the property, you're welcome to go on your own anytime. We provide the GPS coordinates on our listing. You can just copy and paste that on Google Maps and um, you can see that our property is in here. <clears throat> okay, this one. This is a uh, triangular in shape and it comes after this corner property. Okay, I am going to pull this property up in Google Earth to give you a bird's eye view of the location. So you just have to click this part here. It will give you the Google Earth link to the property. So something you can do when you go um, visit a property is to look for natural features in the landscape or um, structures near the property so you know you kind of know or you kind of have an idea where the parcel is. So our parcel is right after this um, property with these structures. Okay, there. So you can see that. All right. Um, in Google Earth, there is also a feature where you can measure the length of a property. This is not 100% accurate, but it can be very helpful when you're trying to find the location of a property. So what you have to do is just click this ruler right here. Okay. And then measure from this corner street here to our property. So our parcel is around 460 feet from this street. So now if you want to know how big our um, lot is, we're going to measure this area up to this area. So it is now approximately 517 feet. And then from this area up to this area is around 470, 475 feet. Okay, again, this is not 100% accurate, but it can be very helpful when you're trying to find the location of the property. There is also an app which you can use. It is called OnX Maps. This is a very powerful powerful app which you can download on your phone when you visit the property. Um, I'm gonna put the link somewhere in the description box below. You can just click that and play with it. So another question that we get a lot about uh, the properties that we sell is the utilities on the property. Like, you know, is there water, is there power or sewer on the property? 
Again, our specialty is raw and undeveloped land offering. So in most cases, unless otherwise noted in the, the listing, there will be no water, septic, or any improvements on the property. So for this particular um, parcel, you can, you can check the utilities notes. You can see here that uh, the nearest power post is a, about 500 feet away from the pro from the property um, another common question that we get is what you can do on the property like can I build can I camp you know you can find answers to that questions to those questions on the zoning information that we posted on the listing zoning refers to land use so basically it answers the questions on um, what you can and cannot do on a property you can just click this link here and it will take you to the county website where you can find specifics on parcel use. So this particular property is zoned residential agricultural. So on the surface, yes, you can build on this property. We also post additional information on our website like camping, RV usage, or whether or not you can put a mobile home on the property. You know, but then again, like we always say here, building or land use is specific to each property. So we ask our customers to visit the property or, um, you know, check with a county, call the county, just to make sure that this property is the right fit for you. Um, this area is also very near a lot of outdoor re recreation. It's near Klamath River, Iron Gate Reservoir, and it's also a part of the KRCEHOA, which is, I think, just a couple of hundred dollars a year. They provide these campgrounds. Uh, there's RV hookups and places for you to hang out with your friends and family, you know, just to enjoy riverfront activities like fishing, um, you know, things like that. Uh, there is a lot of great stuff that you can do within this area. So for those who want a quiet and countryside lifestyle, we have several of these properties on our website. This location is a very active market, I would say. Um, whether it's for building or recreation and um, some of our buyers also bought properties from us within this area just for investment you know something that they can develop in the future we have this property price to sell with owner carry terms available which you can find here at the bottom part of the listing you can also use our calculator to you know to structure a payment plan that would work for you so if you have any questions about that call or text me anytime and uh, yeah again my name is Liz my number is 605-667-5474 you can visit our website wilcolandllc.com we post a lot of properties almost every week we also post a lot of educational stuff on our website so yeah hope to um, work with you soon Thank you so much.